This rabbit is a newer breed that was discovered by Miss Turner of Wales in the year 1980. It was within the nest of Dwarflop. Miss Turner observed something among the kits. They had longer, more luxurious, and thicker coats than the others. After six years, the cashmere lop became popular, and it started to be part of shows in the middle of the 1990s. This rabbit got more audience, and breeders worked on this breed, making it more standardized. After the National Cashmere Lop Club was established, it recognized cashmere in various colors, and it has become more popular in the world. Then, the cashmere miniature came into existence after 10 years. Like the first one, it was standardized in all colors. Both breeds were recognized by BRC or the British Rabbit Council but not by ARBA or the American Rabbit Breeders Association. Physical Description The cashmere lop has a firm, compact, and thick-set body built. Despite being small, the body is powerful, known to be well-muscled, broad, and short with a little neck. The rump short, well-rounded, and muscled. The chest is broad and deep. The upper parts, like the body, are strong, bold, and broad. The cheeks are fully developed too. Ears are furry, rounded at the ends, long, broad, and thick. The eyes are bold and bright. The crown is so permanent across its skull. Going down, its front legs are thick, short, and straight, while the hinds are strong, short, and powerful. The tail is also strong and well-furred. Its coat is thick, long, and silky. The fur measures 1.5 to 2 inches and not woolly. The top coat is denser and longer than its undercoat. With their unique cut, they don't need more work than the other breeds, especially at their young age. At 5 months, the coat tends to be knotted and matted. Thus, it will need grooming sessions with a wire comb for dogs and cats. As you comb, don't comb the density in the undercoat. Use the comb to break the tangles out and the mats part. When it turns adult, do the grooming weekly and trim the nails as well. Pluck the tangles out and the dead hairs too to make the coat beautiful, giving your pet comfort. Cashmere lop comes in all colors, namely, agouti, squirrel, opal, cinnamon, lynx, chinchilla, black, blue, chocolate, lilac, white, blue-eyed white, and ruby-eyed. Others are marten smoke, otter, fox, marten sable, fawn, orange, steel, chocolate tort, Siamese sable, sooty fawn, Siamese smoke, Isabella, seal point, blue point, gray, and ire. Size and weight. The cashmere lop is a medium-sized rabbit that weighs between 1.8 to 2.3 kilograms. Country of origin. It was in 1980 when this rabbit was developed in Wales. In the same decade, when it was finally recognized as a breed. Care requirements. Like other rabbits, a cashmere lop is a great pet for the family. Give your rabbit a secured environment either in your home or apartment. If you choose to set up outside, it should be weatherproof and waterproof, and away from cold and heat. Train your indoor rabbit to use the litter tray and put a cage or crate where it can rest. Give your lop fresh fruits, hay, and vegetables as well as a rabbit mix plus clean and fresh water. Veggies can be cabbage, dandelions, and kale. Give only the standard diet for good digestion and not lead to obesity. A high fiber food type is recommended to avoid blockage. Since they have delicate stomachs, they should be given food in a fresh state. For the food dish, the use of earthenware is ideal. They are not chewable. A water bottle should be fixed outside the cage, and the tube going inside the cage has a fresh supply of water. This rabbit requires lots of space to exercise and move plus a hatch for full stretching in any direction. Breeding Ideally, the breeding age should be between 5 to 6 months. The first litter is born, the doe turns 1 year old for the reason that her pelvic bones are a fuse and not able to give birth to kits naturally. Litter should be after 3 years old. The average litter is from 3 to 5 liters having 9 individuals. The gestation is from 28 to 31 days and gives birth at the days 30 to 32 days. Cage and bedding. An outdoor enclosure needs a wooden hutch that is wood made, having a roof that is waterproof and raised off the ground. A wooden hutch can be used for the indoor enclosure. A plastic or wire base can be used as the base. Space must be adequate for exercising. Wood shavings would be for the floor. Don't use sawdust as they cause irritations to the eyes. For cold and wet weather, put beddings. On top of the wood, shavings would be straw. Clean the cage regularly take the old food out. Wash the enclosure when necessary. Characteristics Cashmere lop is ideal for adults and children and best for children who are more than 10 years old. However, despite being cute, they are not ideal for very young kids. Younger kids should be supervised. They should be given interaction with people. 
Teach the kids the proper handling of it. When handled, this rabbit is quiet and good-natured. Once they are threatened, they try to escape using their powerful back legs, causing injury to the handler, and it might drop and injure itself. They spend just the right amount of time grooming. Groom the coat twice a week, at the very least. Don't let the coat mat because it will be hard to take the tangles. Give the right food to keep the teeth growing well. Do monitoring every day. In the morning and at night, they are seen as active but sleeps in the daytime. They need toys to chew, dig, crawl through, and climb on. Put several boxes put together for your pet to go from one box to another like they are in Warren. Include ramps for climbing. Keep them away from your cats or dogs as they may harm your bunny. Don't let them be stressed by being too exposed to people or other animals. Preparing to breed. As an owner or a future owner, come up with reasons for breeding. Take note it is a great responsibility that asks for commitment, patience, and time. Do you want to sell them or just raise them as pets or for food consumption? If you haven't decided yet, think again. For your information, rabbits are next to cats and dogs as commonly raised pets at home. If you are determined to raise, then research for available breeds. There is a lot to home breeders. Choose the pet not just because it is cute, but it must satisfy you. Then, choose the right breed for you. You can base on your preference, on the price and availability. Your purpose in breeding determines the breed. For the purpose of showing or selling, the mate must be of the same breed. Don't breed full siblings, half siblings will do. Do the breeding at the right age. Of course, they should have reached their sexual maturity. A small to medium breed breeds at 6 to 7 months while the large ones are at 8 to 9 months. Make sure your kids have a home to stay. There should also be spare hutches for weaning. Decide what you will after the kits are weaned, separate the kits according to sex at 8 weeks old. Don't overcrowd your kids, so they don't fight and injure each other. Pastorella multicita. The symptoms are repeated sneezing or snuffling. Another is mucus in yellow or white color coming out of the nose. This is an incurable and very contagious disease in the respiratory. Snuffle is the sound in the nasal airway, while pastorellosis is the bacterium. This disease could lead to pneumonia or worse is death. Don't use your sick bunny for breeding. It can be cured if the infection has not reached the sinuses. Usually, an antibiotic is used to treat this. It should be given properly. Dysbiosis. This is a disruption in the rabbit's gut. It occurs with no obvious cause. It leads to mild diarrhea. Resupplying, the healthy gut type of bacteria, will normalize the activity in the intestine. Abscesses. There will be a soft and round lump under the bunny's jawline or anywhere in the body. This is due to Staphylococcus infections of Pastorella. Rabbit Hemorrhagic Disease This viral disease is devastating and can kill the whole heart in just a few days. This has killed lots of rabbits in Europe and the UK. The outbreak came differently, and vaccines for both have been developed. Rabbit Syphilis This is the vent disease. This results in crusty and inflamed sores in the area of the genitals. It can spread to the face. An infected one hesitates to breathe as it feels discomfort. Infected one can spread it to other animals. Check your pets regularly. Don't use the bunny for breeding and isolate. It is treated with penicillin. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.